Do you ever wonder what life was like before Big Bang Theory? Well, we've gathered here to break any curiosity you ever had about it. So, get ready to find the missing side of the Big Bang Theory. Let's start the journey with the James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced space observatory ever built. The James Webb Space Telescope, or JWST, is an infrared-optimized space telescope launched on December 25, 2021. New Discovery challenges everything we know about galaxy formation and the Big Bang Theory. Before starting the video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the missing side, and don't miss to turn on the notification bell as well. Michio Kaku just revealed a mind-blowing discovery made by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope spotted six galaxies so massive that they shouldn't exist, each the size of our Milky Way. They're being called Universe Breakers, because they formed only 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, and contained almost as many stars as our galaxy. This discovery challenges everything we know about galaxy formation. According to Michio Kaku, all of a sudden, we realize that we may have to rewrite all the textbooks about the beginning of the universe. Now it takes many billions of years to create a galaxy like the Milky Way galaxy, with 100 billion stars many billions of years old. But the James Webb Telescope has identified six galaxies that exist half a billion years after the Big Bang, that are up to 10 times bigger than the Milky Way galaxy. The formation of galaxies in the early universe is a mystery, as it was believed that there wasn't enough time for them to form. While the exact time of the formation of the first galaxies is still unknown, cosmologists think it happened within a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. The widely accepted theory suggests that within one to two billion years, the early proto-galaxies became dwarf galaxies, which merged to become galaxies like the Milky Way. The deeper we look into space, the further back in time we can see. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, astronomers observed that massive galaxies had formed just 3% into the universe's current age, which challenges existing models of cosmology. These galaxies have hundreds of times the mass of our Milky Way and were thought to form hundreds of new stars yearly, much more than our galaxy. This discovery could push the limits of our understanding of the universe. While these celestial objects are believed to be galaxies, some could be supermassive black holes or quasars. The observed mass means there's up to 100 times more known mass in stars than previously thought at this period of the universe's history. In previous observations, the Hubble Space Telescope didn't detect these massive galaxies, but the James Webb Space Telescope is 100 times more powerful. It was designed to study the earliest stages of the universe, and has forced scientists to reconsider existing models, as it did when it made a groundbreaking discovery about the Big Bang Theory last year. Do you recall the opening theme of the Big Bang Theory? Our whole universe was in a hot, dense state when nearly 14 billion years ago expansion started. This is how many were first introduced to the Big Bang Theory, which proposes that the universe began as a hot, dense soup that exploded into existence about 14 billion years ago. This idea was first put forward in 1927, and it suggests that the universe was born from a single point that expanded over time to become the vast, ever-expanding cosmos we know today. In 1996, a team of scientists, astronomers, and engineers set out to create a new generation of the telescope, the James Webb Space Telescope, which would rewrite our understanding of the universe and our cosmic origins. The telescope was designed to act as a giant time machine, allowing us to look back in time and see the universe as it was in its early days. However, 
While searching so far back in time, the telescope has revealed some shocking and surprising discoveries, including recent findings that could disprove the Big Bang Theory. These discoveries have left many cosmologists and astronomers questioning what they thought they knew about the universe, leading to feelings of panic and shock. Science is fundamentally about questioning things, but it is disconcerting to see a pivotal event in the cosmos being called into question. If the Big Bang did not occur, then how did we and the vast array of celestial objects around us come to be? Who or what is responsible for expanding the universe? Is it possible that we are living in a simulation created by advanced extraterrestrial beings? Or are the architects of our universe something beyond our understanding? This discovery has left us, and perhaps you as well, with an unsettling sense of apprehension and has compelled us to reevaluate the reality we know. In the JWST images, even galaxies with larger mass and luminosity than our own Milky Way appear two to three times smaller than similar images captured by Hubble and other new galaxies with greater redshifts, emphasizing the optical illusion of objects appearing more significant and dimmer at high redshift. Although it is expected for the surface brightness, which is the ratio of apparent brightness to the apparent area, to decline sharply with redshift, observations of thousands of galaxies show that surface brightness is constant with distance, which is what one would expect in a universe that is not expanding. The fact that surface brightness dimming did not occur is not in line with an expanding universe. According to the Big Bang Theory, the farthest galaxies in the JWST images are seen as they were just 400 to 500 million years after the universe's origin. Yet, they already show stellar populations that are over a billion years old. This contradicts the idea that nothing could have existed before the Big Bang, and the existence of these galaxies disproves the occurrence of the Big Bang. The proponents of the Big Bang Theory suggest that galaxies were smaller in the past and have grown significantly, thus explaining the surface brightness issue. However, observations have shown that there haven't been enough galaxy mergers for the growth rates required to support this hypothesis. The suggestion that ultra-small galaxies could explain the inconsistencies with the Big Bang Theory has been refuted by various arguments, including the impossibility of having more mass than stars than total mass. Despite the evidence against it, the Big Bang Theory remains the dominant model of the origin of the universe, and funding for cosmology research is largely controlled by committees dominated by Big Bang theorists. Those who question the theory often struggle to secure funding, making it difficult to challenge the prevailing orthodoxy. However, it's important to remember that science is a process of discovery and refinement, and as new evidence emerges, our understanding of the universe will continue to evolve. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to produce more images of the ancient universe, we may eventually need to abandon the convenient origin story we've been fed for decades and embrace a new, more accurate understanding of the universe's beginnings. Hope you liked today's video. Share your thoughts about today's topic in the comments section below. Until next time, stay safe and keep exploring the missing side of the natural mysteries.